Hi, I'm Steve, and I'd like to show you three R2 units that I've built. I have a full size, this is actual scale R2 unit. I have a half scale R2 unit, and over there I have a one third scale R2 unit. This is all of XIQ pieces with a couple of exceptions. In the head, I have a few 3D printed parts. These are custom designed parts to help fill in, to make, uh, make the head smooth make it round and make it still look like it has VEX pieces in it. Second, I have the front wheel, which is actually made up of uh, two mechanic wheels. It's driven by four motors. This allows the robot to drive sideways or forward and backwards, so I can turn using the, the front wheels. Also inside the R2 unit, I have an Arduino, which I've configured with a speaker to make realistic sounds. This full-size unit is made up of about 5,000 pieces, which cost about $1,500. It took about two months to build. It has six motors for driving, four on the front wheel, and then one on each arm. And then it has one motor to turn the head. I also have it up. And the sound. This unit breaks down so I can assemble it and disassemble it so I can easily transport it. On the full size unit, I can remove the back, which is just connected with magnets, so I can easily replace the battery, which is just a standard 7.2 volt battery. And the back panel can be easily reattached. It is capable of standing and driving on two legs, but it's not very stable, so I normally don't do that. I will just move it down and let it stand on three legs. Next, I have my half-scale droid. This is still a work in progress. I still need to work on the feet and complete the head. This one will also have one motor to turn the head and two motors for driving the feet, one for each foot. When it's complete, it'll have a panel that will open up on this side and a light or two in the head. Finally, I have a one-third scale droid. A friend of mine designed this R2 unit and he has the plans posted on the web. It took me about two hours to build the body based on his plans and I decided I wanted to change the head that he had just a little bit. And so it took me about two hours to design and build the head. This one has the brain tucked away inside of it. it normally has a panel that covers the back. And the head will turn. On my version, the head actually comes right off. It just has a gear that attaches. It can slide right back on there. Like my medium size, this one has two motors for driving and one motor for driving the head. If you'd like to build your own R2 unit, Damon has some instructions posted on the web. You can build it in whatever color you want. He's got some pretty straightforward instructions along with the bill of materials needed to build it. You can just follow the instructions and have your own R2 unit.